If action had been taken when he and others started sounding alarms, the severity of the outbreak might have been understood sooner. Struggling to communicate, Lee spoke with CNN briefly by phone. You can hear the hospital machines pulsing in the background. It was back in late December when Lee first warned friends on WeChat about a SARS-like disease going around. Lee sent a group message saying that a test result from a patient quarantined at the hospital where he worked showed a patient had a coronavirus. But hours after hitting send, Wuhan City health officials tracked Lee down, questioning where he got the information. Within days, they closed the suspected source of the virus, this seafood market, and they announced the outbreak. But instead of being praised, Lee got a call from Wuhan City Police. With Lee coughing too much and breathing too poorly to speak by phone, we asked Lee by text, how did you feel when this happened? I felt a little afraid, afraid I would be detained, afraid my family would worry, Lee responded. He agreed to sign this document, admitting to spreading rumors online and severely disrupting social order. It reads, we want you to cooperate with the police and listen to our reminder and stop the illegal act. Can you do that? Lee answered, yes, I can. In the weeks that followed, the Wuhan Municipal Health Commission maintained that there was no obvious evidence for human-to-human -human transmission, no infection of healthcare workers, and that the outbreak was, in their words, preventable and controllable. And with that, the people of Wuhan continued about their normal lives. Then came a sudden jump in infections. China's central government took over, scrambling to contain a spreading virus with a rising death toll. Chinese state media first reported that Li was one of several whistleblowers silenced by police. Calls for Li and the others to be vindicated grew online. China's Supreme Court even weighed in, adding, quote, it might have been a fortunate thing if the public had listened to this rumor at the time. But for many, including Li and his parents, it was too late. They all contracted the coronavirus. Li is now fighting for his life, alone in quarantine, but online considered a hero. Tens of thousands praising his attempts to sound the alarm, ahead of what's become a global health emergency. After the Chinese Supreme Court made those comments in support of Li and the other whistleblowers, we did hear from Wuhan police. They released a statement essentially saying, look, the whistleblowers weren't fined and they weren't detained. They were simply questioned and let go. Now, we did also reach out, CNN did, to Wuhan police as well as the local health commission. Allison, they declined to comment.